decorator is used to add additional responsibilities to an object dynamically. Here is the intent of decorator pattern. Attach additional responsibilities to an object dynamically. Decorator provides a flexible alternative to subclassing for extending functionality. So the intent is to provide flexible alternative to sub subclassing by adding responsibilities to an object dynamically. So what is the problem actually? The problem is need to add additional functionality to object subclassing makes it inflexible and complex. We may require to add some additional functionality to the object. This may be done by using inheritance but that will make it static and inflexible and client will not be able to add functionality as it is required. So what is the solution? Here is the solution. Give the responsibility of adding additional functionality to another object without using subclassing. So additional functionality request will be forwarded to this object which will be responsible for adding the required functionality where it can be applicable. It can be applicable when we want to add additional responsibility to an object dynamically. We want to avoid subclassing for extending functionality. Okay, let's see the structure of the pattern. Here is the abstract class component which provides the interface to client for adding functionality dynamically. Here is the concrete class concrete component represents the object where additional functionality will be added. Here is the abstract class decorator derived from component which has the responsibility for adding additional functionality. It has instance of class component. Here are the concrete classes concrete decorator A and concrete decorator B which are used for adding functionality to the component object. Decorator does the operation on concrete component as it has instance of class component. Extra functionality will be added by method operation of concrete decorator A and concrete decorator B. This looks better than the subclassing. Functionalities are added dynamically and provide more flexibility. But this increases the number of objects as the functionality increases and will make it difficult to manage. So inheritance may work better if we have very less number of functionality or functionality need not require to be added dynamically. 